Rich, let me show you just how much of a mess one egg could make. This is what neighbors have been dealing with. Alex, it all happened right here on Cumming Street, right in front of Omaha Design Center. People I spoke with here said they are shocked a shooting happened in this area. We're standing at a very rough part of this street here, so much so that you can actually bend down and scoop up parts of the roadway. Well, you probably know just how busy this intersection can get. The lights here back on track, but earlier today they were flashing red and at the worst possible time. Take a look behind me. This is I-29 and I-480. And just over here, this is one of the neighborhoods. When it comes to airports down in Florida, there are big problems, obviously. This is the scene, what it looks like right now. We did speak to a witness here on the scene earlier. He said he never saw anything yeah, like it. Yeah, it is a bright sign. We're on top of the roof of this apartment building here. This is a piece of neighborhood history. We're here at Forest Lawn Cemetery here in Omaha. Take a look at my pearly whites here. This is the extent of my Halloween costume. Alex, it all happened right here on Cumming Street, right in front of Omaha Design Center. People I spoke with here said they are shocked a shooting happened in this area. And it was like pop, 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 pop. You know, it, it sounded like someone at least came close to emptying uh, a clip. Joe Johnson says that's what got him off the couch early this morning. You hear about, you know, shootings and stuff like that, and you just kind of put it to the back of your mind. But uh, being so close, you know, it was pretty, uh, you know, pretty eye opening. Just before 2 a.m. Sunday, police say a big fight broke out near the Omaha Design Center. Hundreds of people were involved, said investigators, and soon after, someone fired shots into the crowd. Two people were hurt, but not badly. They were taken to area hospitals. In the area was our own Fox 42 News reporter, Winnie Dorch. I saw a lot of police cars flying and then a lot of people like running. So we just immediately just sped off because we didn't know if it was like coming towards our way. Trucker and YouTuber Brittany Richardson was also passing through at the time. She says she heard the gunshots and got this video just minutes after the shooting happened. Officers are blocking off literally all the streets down here in downtown Omaha. She also caught video of what police say was the scene of a second shooting that happened just 30 minutes before. It happened right on I-480. Investigators say a car pulled up next to another car. Bullets grazed the driver. He was treated at the scene. Investigators have not said whether those two shootings are related. They are still looking for whomever fired those shots. Alex. All right, thanks, Steve. Gia, yeah, it is pretty close. Take a look behind me. This is I-29 and I-480. And just over here, this is one of the neighborhoods. Now, neighbors say they are concerned about the construction project because some people say they may actually have to move. I sure hope they don't have to move me out. For Wanda Denton, this Council Bluffs neighborhood is home, and it's been that way for decades now. I've been in here for 60 years and raised children by myself. It, we have a wonderful neighborhood. They all get along friendly and help each other. But a construction project on the nearby interstate will start soon, and she doesn't know if she'll be able to stay. Iowa's DOT says it still doesn't know exactly how deep into the neighborhood the interstate needs to go, but officials do say they may have to resort to eminent domain. That means the state could force homeowners to sell their homes to the state. Check out this dash cam video. I caught a truck merging left to get across Nebraska. The state hopes the extra space will get rid of that turn and make the trip safer for drivers. Some drivers we spoke to say they'd welcome the change, but Denton says she just hopes it won't force her to move. If I go to another place, it'd be a strange place, and it'd be take a while to get acquainted with everybody. The exact details on this construction project and a timetable have not been nailed down yet. Now there is a public uh, meeting where people can discuss the project. We posted all that information and details on that on our website, fox42kptm.com. Gia, back to you. Well, you probably know just how busy this intersection can get. The lights here back on track, but earlier today they were flashing red and at the worst possible time. This car doesn't exactly get the best traction. Anthony Taylor still had grease on his face after handling the chains that pulled him to safety. You must be thankful for that. Oh, I'm so thankful. He was stuck on Dodge for a long 45 minutes when one humble man in a white pickup pitched in to help. We were just coming back from work and we saw him on the side of the road. So, like, like anybody would do, you just pull him out. The story was much the same for so many other drivers, and things got even worse at 72nd and Dodge. Right in the middle of the mess, the lights started flashing red. 
there are a lot of cars on Dodge anyway, and usually it's slow going and the traffic can back up pretty much any time of the day, really. Uh, but today, uh, as you can see, it is one tricky mess out here and we're stuck in traffic and not only are we going even slower, the traffic is also backed up pretty significantly. Not only Dodge, but highways too, like I-80. Check out this video of a car stuck on the 60th Street westbound exit ramp. All day, plow trucks scramble to get things under control, many of them still at work. Once we get all our lots cleaned up, we'll go back out to the shop, grab our salt trucks and go out and salt. As for Anthony, he says he's got a renewed sense of appreciation for the community he lives in. Just everyone's out here to help, and so that's what's great about Omaha. And that's Nebraska nice right there. Take a look. It's wet, not white here on Dodge.